ever, 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 ever so slowly, we are inching towards spring here in New England. The reason I have to say here in New England is because, you know, when I lived for 11 years in L.A., you don't have the same kind of, kind of thing where, you know, where it's pure excitement to go from winter to spring. <laughs> to be blunt, particularly this back in winter. Um, it's still up in the air. We probably are not going to make it to um, being the number one snowiest winter season on history for Boston. Probably not going to make it because according to the news, Boston only got a really tiny bit of snow. Although it hadn't, it's not, can't be calculated until today. It's, it's inching slowly towards being the snowiest history on Boston's record. But remember, we're in March and, you know, there might not be any more snow after this week, so we might not make it. I hope we make it. I don't feel bad either. I mean, the news is saying they hope we make it. The woman on this Channel 5 News saying, you know, I hope we make it. We might as well. We've come so close. We might as well make it to number one. It wouldn't even surprise me if the people going through absolute hell all these weeks are hoping we make it to number one. Just because, why not? Why not? Going through all this hell, it's almost over with. And it sucked. I swear to God, I'm tempted. I'm gonna tell my mom. I figured there's safety in numbers. Me, Omer, my mom. Um, let's see if she wants to go for a walk around here today. The three of us. No, I was out with her, we just walking and moving down the street a little bit. Um, there was a woman out, like, regular walking. Remember when I used to walk around here with them all the time? There were people who walked, like, on a regular thing. Or I'd see them when I was w walking to go to walk to the bus or something, you know. And I don't know if they continued their walks in this. They may or may not have. Probably did. I didn't walk, I just didn't want to walk with him, you know. I didn't walk around here ever for exercise. I'm, I'm walking around here to get out. that Christian woman's email, but that's only because she wanted to send me uplifting things, and I couldn't say no, you know, you know, if she says, I want to, sit, she tells me about this and that, and I, she wants to send it, I never read it, um, because I don't, she's not someone I would want to be, you know, friends with, like, as in, if I moved away from here, what not, it was just a thing where we saw each other in the library, you know what I mean? It's not, that's just the way it is, that's how I feel. And that's why I'm not pushing things with my two friends for, you know, when I was in the shelter. Um, I reached out to them, and... And then that's it, you know. Reached out with that to them a few times. Haven't heard back. And they have my mom's number. And last time I actually called them from my mom's number. 
And I finally heard from the one who was supposed to get an apartment through um, Section 8 or something. You know, who, who was out of the shelter or whatever. But who was having problems, I guess, I don't know. When I finally heard from her, it was on my mom's number. Um, because she had my number before I changed it, but when I was in the shelter, I gave them both. I gave them my mother's number, because you can always reach me at the fucking mom's number. Unless my mom's locked up in the mental hospital, you know what I mean? But whereas my number changes, or you know what I mean? You can always reach me at my mom's number. I'm not going to push it with them. I might have, you know, I did call them a few times. Last couple times it was like, hey, I'm watching the news. Hope you guys are, you know hanging in there, doing okay, you know, shit like that. It is what it is, you know. They may have decided that they don't want to be my friend anymore, so. It's just like, I don't want to be any kind of real friends with that Christian woman, you know. Circumstances threw us together, but I'm certainly not emailing her and saying, you know, I'm not reaching out to her. I never felt like she was a real friend anyway, you know. That's just the reality of life. People grow apart. So the whole other rest of the house is very, very clean now. I mean, it needs to be. I think I'm gonna sweep the rug. I taught my mom to do that too, but you know, she before I moved in here in 2012, she had ruined her vacuum. How had she ruined her vacuum? You, I may ask. Well, because vacuums, most of them, except one that you pay five hundred dollars for, I'm not gonna do that. I, I read about it, dice it or something. <gasps> Vacuums are not designed to handle pet hair. Especially obscene amounts of pet hair that were coming from Angel and then Angel and Omar together, you know? So, my mom's vacuum, when I came here, I, I mean, it was all. I think that might have been happened before she had over here with her, I don't know, but. Uh, she killed it. With the vacuum pair. Oh. So I remember when I moved in, I bought a shark. It was shark vacuum. But and I also said, Mom, we gotta sweep first. Gotta sweep and then vacuum. That's what we do. We sweep all the dirt and hair and whatnot to the kitchen floor. And then, you know, get it up in the dustpan. And then you vacuum. I don't know, a few weeks ago, whenever I did it, before my mom came home. Anyway, on the surface out there, I mean, I did the counters, but I mean, on the surface it looks very clean. Let's put it this way, if the lawyer comes here again, I mean, the lawyer only met with my mom in person once. I think this might all blow over. I think it might. Considering how scared we all were in the beginning. How scared me and my mom were. I can't speak for Auntie, although I have my suspicions. You know, I think even if she doesn't let on, she's scared too. She was, but it might all blow over. It's dragging on, but the last judge apparently told them, you know, if he had his way, it would be taken care of sooner. It's just 
My employer had to go out of the country for a funeral or something, so they had to have the court date a hell of a lot ahead of time because then the judge wasn't going to be around.